Hello YouTubers, so here we'll say it's a sort of an intercom system update, but not, but I'll call this a, another one of those intercom extravaganza videos. So I was kind of playing around with this SQ8 today, along with the CSMA 180 that I have here. So what I did was... I bridged off of this SQ8 amplifier to go to this CSMA 180 because the nice thing about these older 70 volt amplifiers, and this applies to this along with the old AA120 240 amplifiers made by Atlas Sound, those have a tape out output on the back, meaning that you could connect a tape deck to one of these things for whatever reason and record. I don't know, if you have microphones connected to this and you want to record it onto a cassette, it does all that. But we're not using it for that purpose here. Instead, I'm using the tape output on this amplifier to obviously connect to another amplifier as like a system expansion. So, I have this chain of all my recent speakers on the bed here, along with the QSC on the floor here. And yeah, I have the 4J here, the Qualm FM speaker here, all of this connected to that amp. This SQ8 connects to this, this, and these two Duquesnes you see here. That one's not connected at the moment. And the nice thing is the microphone passes through both amplifiers. I just need to turn it down a little bit because while well, the microphone's not too sensitive, as you can hear, it sounds pretty clear and it's really loud. Test check one, two, three. And you can see the the signal indicators on this JBL amp it is passing through. Is it yeah, see the volume's a little loud. There I turned it down because it was peaking. That's what the pop was about, but it works. That's a that, that's a that's another thing about bridging amplifiers. It will be important to balance this to your main amp. Otherwise, if you have this one cranked way too loud and you adjust the volume on that amp, it may cause sound distortion on the other end here. So that is a thing to watch out for. But this is perfectly safe. It will not hurt your amplifiers. They're designed to be bridged. But if you're looking for further expansion, these older AA120-240 amplifiers have both tape, auxiliary out, as well as a single pre-out. And how I did that is the pre-out goes to this amplifier here, you see here, the, the DA500F-HL. The line out goes to this amp here, the DA250FH, and then the tape out goes to the Balcom zone, if that makes any sense. And that's how I have, that's how I can have expansion amps in the main room here. Also, I put ground loop isolators in between, so there's no ground loops that ha taking place, we should say. So, let's play some music as you can hear what this sounds like with just this group of speakers you see here. So yeah, 
that is what this sounds like. And I, there's another update that's coming soon. That'll be a video of its own, but... I decided that two of these sound masking speakers, I'm going to change the grills out on. The speaker driver and the cans also are going to stay together as one unit, but... I'm going to take two of these grills off that are got little dinks like that. They're minor, but... And I'll kind of explain what's going on without spoiling the video too much to other one I have going on I decided to order one of these Qualm one of these Qualm BR AWC grills from this site here along with the Qualm version of the P900 because I got free shipping on this site if I ordered another grill with it with the coupon code they have so I got two of those coming my plan is I want to change two of these out. Probably this one and this one. Just change the grills out. Keep the cans and the drivers. And then this one will stay as a set. I will not throw the grills away. I'll just put in my spare, spare parts for a while. Until I decide to use them later on down the road. But yeah, that is this little system extravaganza video. Part 2 type of deal I have going on here.